Welcome back, guys, to another Cupid's Corner with me, John, and Sharice. So we want to come back to you guys with some more tips. We said we'd have this segment for you guys every Sunday, and this information is valuable for your relationship. So the three that we want to discuss today, the first one, New Year's resolutions are here, so why not try something new with your partner? Something exciting, something you guys maybe haven't done before that may interest both of you guys. This will take the relationship to new heights and you guys might find out something about your partner you never even knew. So with that, I would love to ask John and I'll tell you my intake on it, but we're gonna Ooh. ask John first. So name off like two, cause I'm, I wanna know. Two what? Two things that? That you know, some New Year's resolutions you'd like to Oh, I don't know. I mean, that could be a lot of different things. Uh, that could be like traveling more, so more vacation time. That's awesome to do, right? Outfits for Victoria's uh, Secret. Those well, are those never outfits, go bad. Outfits never, ever, never do bad. Uh, more pigtail action. <laughs> no, yeah, I like the pigtails. Uh, you know, she's got that long, beautiful hair, so that always and comes, it's real, so it doesn't come out. So that always comes into play. But yeah, those those different things. You know, I think like uh, dressing up or, or doing something or going somewhere. Um, that you maybe haven't been before. You guys can share that experience, bond together, um, and enjoy it together. Not only that too, guys, I, I guess that brings me to another topic, but it ties into this topic, is that you know if you guys do go somewhere, let's say dinner, or you guys go out on a vacation, or you guys go wherever, who cares, wherever it is, right? Be sure to, I know that like cell phones are, you know, like you're attached to the phone and you're on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, but it's really important to just take like, take some time with your partner while you're there and enjoy the time that you have with your partner because I mean, the phone will always be there, social media will always be there, your emails are not going anywhere, those people are not going anywhere. You should definitely spend the time with your significant other and spend the quality time, not like both of you guys sitting at the dinner table and you guys are both on your cell phones. Like that's always been a big yeah. pet peeve for me. Cause I'm like, listen, we're at dinner. You know, this was like a long time ago. Now, now John's like totally seasoned, but, um, but yeah, back in the day, I mean, it's important cause it's the phones are all over the place. You just have the phone out. It's so easy to just be out and be like, boom, 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 boom. But I mean, especially, I mean, we own a business, so it's hard sometimes because you're like, oh my goodness, what's going on? I want to make sure everything's okay. It's it's difficult. So take the time to enjoy with each other and really, really, really like cherish that. So number two, guys, put down your cell phones. Make sure you guys are putting down the technology, shutting off the technology or putting it aside so you guys can spend that quality time and give all your attention to your loved one or significant other, whoever you're on a date with. I mean, your body posture and, and the, the way that it talks to people uh, will, will speak a million words to somebody. So if you're looking down at your phone and you really don't feel like or look like you're having a good time, um, and you might not be, you might just be focusing on what's on, on, the, on your phone. It might not be trying to give off that, that, you know, that, that body stance or position that it's in um, and the posture. And at that point, you know, you might not be giving off these bad things or these vibes per se. Um, and people might not, you know, misconstrued what you're feeling. So make sure that you guys are putting down the technology, putting down the phones and spending the time and asking quality questions. That's another big one, right? Big quality question. When you're at dinner, and I did start doing this with John many, many years ago, and I don't have to do it anymore because we've been together for so long. I'd be talking to him and be like, what did I just say? And I can say it every time. <laughs> Dude, what, what did I just say? Because I want you to tell me what I just said. <laughs> and I want to know like word by word. And he's actually been really good at it. He always recites it. There's been a couple times where I caught him off guard, but there's not many. You know, I'll, I will give him that. But, you know, I ask him, what, what did I just say? So tune in, guys. Tune in because, you know, you might learn something about your partner that you might be able to use later. Like, you know, whatever their favorite food is, you know, maybe their favorite life, maybe a place they've never been before. So, um, you know, that, that was one thing with Sharice, like she's lived in Florida her whole life, right? <laughs> I've lived here since I've been 21 years old, all right? So I'm old, I've been here for, you know, almost 19, 20 years. So at that point, you're in Florida. You grew up in Florida as a kid. You never been to Disney World? Listen, my Nobody ever took money. you to Disney World? I don't even talk about that. So listen, it was just a benefit for me. The reason it was a benefit for me was because like, I'm like, 
man, I'm like, if I was her, like her boyfriend, like in high school or whatever, <laughs> like prom or whatever it was, man, I'd be killing that. Shame that's on a, you, ex boyfriend. That's out a there. first time experience. That is something that you know every kid dreams about doing, right? Um, so when you can uh, provide that experience or have that experience with them, that's a life changing experience. That was that's a memory. No matter if they like you, they hate you afterwards, they will always remember that. That's one thing. So first time experience is another thing, uh, and, and that's key. So I mean, first time for anything, whatever you do, it could be paddle boarding, it could be scuba diving, it could be a baseball game, it could be a basketball game, which. That's another thing. First, I did with Sharice, and that I was played, her favorite sport. I right? played ball, so hello. So, you know, find out these things. So make sure that you're asking quality questions, because that's where I want to go with this. We'll cover the destinations and all in another Cupid's Corner. But just make sure that the questions are quality, you're learning, and you're you're really retaining. Retaining it. You're retaining. You're not you're just... Listening. You're listening. It's a listening thing. It really you're is listening. listening. You're not just hearing them talk. It's true. So at that point, you always want to pay attention to your partner and listen in and give them that quality time, retain the information. You might use it later and for your benefit, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's really, really big. <laughs> <laughs> might be for your benefit in might many ways. Might be for your benefit, okay? <laughs> so you got to love that. Um, the next one that we're going to cover and the last one will be compromise. I mean, compromise is a big thing in relationships and it's a big thing in this world. Whether you're in a business relationship or you're in a loving relationship, compromise is key. Um, I see a lot of different relationships out there where it's always one-sided, mm -hmm. right? Not both parties are giving the equal amount of effort or one person dictates in the relationship what they're going to do every single time. That's not compromising, mm -hmm. you know, and that's not really, I don't think that both parties are happy. Maybe one party's happy. Maybe the other party is happy because they just want to serve the first party. Mm -hmm. You know, there's different relationships out there. So if that's your thing, yeah, I totally understand. But most people, they want compromise. And that could be on something they disagree about. That could be about a trip you're going to go on. That could be about when you're going to have a child, right? Mm -hmm. now, there's a lot of these different topics that you want to compromise on. Where you live, that's another big one. That's a huge that's one. That's a huge one, right? I mean, where you live at as a, as a, as a couple, if you guys are going to move, let's say you're married and, you know, a husband wants to have a job in Texas. Sharice's brother wants to move to Texas, right? right. His wife might not want to move to Texas. And at that point, what are they going to do? you got to find a happy ground. you got to find a happy medium in everything you do, in every, everything in life, you know, and that could be, like I said, for business or your loving relationship with your wife or significant other. So make sure you guys are compromising finding that equal ground together, and then you guys can build together. And like I said, that could be in any relationship that you guys are doing. You just build from there and you build up. And you guys will be very successful at your relationships and everything that you're doing to progress those relationships. I think that's what's gave us um, the things that we've got today. You know, a lot of people, they see our relationship, they ask, you know, how did, how did you get like this? It's not always been like a perfect thing you know, we've been through our beginning. trials and tribulations. You, know, you, you learn more about each other, things. right? Through time, broken a couple things. <laughs> this is—I'm telling you guys. Like, I need to make sure that we don't paint the picture perfect because we've been through everything yeah. you guys are going through. Yeah. Like, I know, like on Facebook, Instagram, if you guys have met us in person, like honestly, we are a happy couple. Let me not like downplay that in any way, shape, or form. And me and John are like the guy and girl version of each other. Like, we definitely are soulmates. I agree with that and believe in that 100 percent but we've been through the same things you know like there's been things thrown there's been yelling there's been screaming but you always got to make sure that you circle back around fix it up patch it up make sure that you guys have that happy medium you guys make the compromise you guys there's got to be a compromise if you really do care about your significant other you will listen to their feelings and you will really think about even if you wanted something for your own good, you would still think about, well, what do they want? And really figure it out from there, you know? Because there's there's always a happy ground. Yep, I 100%. agree. 100%. I agree. So those are the tips that we wanted to help you out with this week. I hope you guys like those tips. If you guys want more tips about your loving relationships, what might make them better, might fuel them, ignite them, please tune in every Sunday with us. 11 a.m. ABC, and you guys will get more of Cupid's Corner with me and Sharice. We'll see you there.